Billions of years from now, our dead sun will solidify into a giant crystal ball. Most stars entering the final chapter of their lives tend to shrink, wither, and slowly turn white. Astronomers call these cold, dense objects white dwarfs. As detailed in a paper published in Nature, astronomers at the University of Warwick in the UK obtained the first direct evidence of a star's core turning into a crystal of solid oxygen and carbon. These crystal balls fill our skies. The study, led by Dr. Pierre-Emmanuel Tremblay from the University of Warwick's Department of Physics, is largely based on observations taken with the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite. Half a century ago, theorists predicted that white dwarfs solidify into crystal over time. But the new research has found that this is indeed the case. All white dwarfs will crystallize at some point in their evolution, although more massive white dwarfs go through the process sooner. This means that billions of white dwarfs in our galaxy have already completed the process and are essentially crystal spheres in the sky. The sun itself will become a crystal white dwarf in about 10 billion years. White dwarfs are the remaining cores of red giants after these huge stars have died and shed their outer layers. They are constantly cooling as they release their stored up heat for billions of years. For this study, scientists analyzed the luminosity and colors of about 15,000 known white dwarfs located within 300 light years of Earth. They identified an excess in the number of stars at specific colors and luminosities. It turns out they do not correspond to any single mass or age. The uniform appearance of these stars suggested that the dwarfs had reached some sort of set phase in their development and one that could span billions of years. When compared to evolutionary models of stars, the pileup strongly coincides with the phase in their development in which latent heat, scientists predict, will be released in large amounts, thus resulting in a slowing down of their cooling process. When a white dwarf cools enough, the molten liquid at its core begins to solidify. This means the star begins turning to crystal. This is the first direct evidence that white dwarfs crystallize or transition from liquid to solid. Scientists estimate that in some cases, these stars have slowed down their aging by as much as 2 billion years, or 15% of the age of our galaxy. So, a lot of white dwarfs may be billions of years older than previously calculated. Dr. Tremblay said not only do they have evidence of heat release upon solidification, but considerably more energy release is needed to explain the observations. He's confident that this is due to the oxygen crystallizing first, and then sinking to the core, a process similar to sedimentation on a riverbed on Earth. This will push the carbon upwards, and that separation will release gravitational energy. However, there's no need for humans to worry about our space crystal blinding us. The sun's explosion will destroy Earth long before it begins to crystallize. An Israeli-led team has figured out how supermassive black holes get so big. They observed a strange light spectrum from a suddenly growing black hole. Some of these supermassive black holes have experienced sudden growth spurts, during which they rapidly gulp down vast quantities of gases from the surrounding area. The sudden brightening of AT 2017 BGT was similar to a tidal disruption event, but scientists quickly realized that this time there was something unusual. The first clue was an additional component of light, which had never been seen in tidal disruption events. Scientists continued to follow this event for more than a year with telescopes on Earth and in space, and what they saw did not match anything they had seen before. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.